All right, running short of time, but a huge shopping list still giving you a headache. Stay where you are and get all your needs delivered at your doorstep on Rising Stars today. We feature Dinesh Malpani, founder of uh, yourdoorstep.com. Dinesh, you know, this has been the interesting space when we talk about the hyper-local space itself. Take us through as to how you came up with this venture and what inspired you. Uh, so this Your Doorstep fundamentally uh, talks about replenishing the day-to-day -day needs of every household. Uh, every household needs to replenish its kitchen, its refrigerator, uh, its home, whether it's a bathroom, bedroom, drawing room, and its wardrobe on a regular basis. And this is one of the most painful things which the head of the family needs to go through because it's, it's about 70% of their monthly spend. And they need to go around the market, go to multiple shops to ensure that they're buying the best produce for the, for the family, get the best rates, um, and take all the effort to, to brave traffic and figure out and get this stuff to their, their homes. Uh, we see this as one of the biggest opportunities uh, for, for business, and we've been able to build this business around bringing this convenience at the doorstep of the consumer. Get your home, get your kitchen, and get your wardrobe replenished at uh, your doorstep. That's the idea. And there are two more aspects to this, that because it's 70% of the consumer spend, we see this as the mother of all e-commerce opportunities in India. And uh, we believe that this can be one of the fastest businesses to move towards profitability, and we're working towards that. So take us as to how the business model really shapes up. Is, is it on a subscription basis? How, how, how is the venture uh, making money currently? So most importantly, we've built this business on the fundamental premise that we have to make money and the entire business model has been built around it. Uh, the go-life strategy has been that we have picked Bangalore as, as a key market. And even in Bangalore, we've just picked about 25 pin codes, which is about 25% of Bangalore. Uh, and uh, in the first 60 days since we've gone live, we're almost uh, doing about 40% of the market leader in terms of number of orders. And our unit economics is positive right from the day go because the category is such that you get about orders worth 1,000 rupees. Uh, you are replenishing the orders in a particular catchment in a, in a specific milk run route mapped uh, GPRS enabled trucks. And you, if you know to control your costs and if you're able to get the revenue numbers in the particular catchment, which is optimum for you to be able to get your unit economics correct, then it's a cash cow from day one. Okay. Uh, you know, the other interesting bit out here is what are your growth plans? Because as, as you mentioned, currently you, it seems you're predominantly operating only in Bangalore. So over the next couple of a year or so, is there a pan-India plan that you would, uh, you know, you can highlight uh, for us right now? So at this point of time, uh, we have started with, say, as I told you, that with 25 pin codes in Bangalore, we plan to expand this to 40 in the next month or so. Uh, we see uh, Bangalore can do about 12 to 15,000 orders in the next four to six months for us, for which we'll be... Uh, raising money and uh, we plan to open uh, and launch two more cities sometime around June. I'm guessing you probably have already uh, you know, lined up funding for that or you're in talks for funding if you can share some details on that? Yes, we are in discussions with, with, a, uh, with a few uh, funds on this. We are planning to raise anywhere between 30 to 40 million for this expansion plan uh, because we have this model working well for us. We see the unit economics working well for us and the way we want to now build onto the volumes. Okay. Now, Dinesh, take us through some of the learnings out here. Give me some trends that you've probably noticed in Bangalore itself that have probably stood out in terms of consumption pattern. Uh, so, interestingly, uh, the way we have structured this entire business model is around the online hype market space. So, there are three verticals in this business, uh, which is the e-supermarket, the e-home, and the e-apparels. Uh, the consumer uh, who's going on uh, in the market to buy the day-to-day -day replenishment stuff, which includes products in their home or products in their wardrobe, which could be a legging, which could be a pajama or a vest or a brief, along with their groceries, vegetables and fruits, it's a, it's a painful activity for them. It's a chore, a repetitive, non-value add. And that's why we first came out with this model, which is a hype market, uh, which, which eliminates the chore from a consumer's life. Uh, once we got this act in place, we could see that in the first 60 days of our operations, we were able to garner about 1100-1200 orders in this uh, uh, small uh, area and we're seeing close to about 75% of repeat customers. Primarily, the traction started with the fresh, which is the vegetables, fruits and groceries. And we're now seeing that the customer is leaning towards their entire home categories and also now starting to buy the day-to-day non-fashion apparels from this uh, format. 
uh, because we are, we are trying to say that we are eliminating the day-to-day -day chore from your life. Uh, that's, the, that's the business model all about. So we've seen customers starting from vegetables and fruits and then slowly gravitating towards their home category and then going towards apparels also. All right, Dinesh, interesting your details there as far as what we're tracking as far as the developments on your, door, your doorstep are concerned and wish you all the very best. And thanks so much for taking the time out to talk to us today. All right, on that note, it's a wrap on this edition of Countdown. Coming up next is What Did You Miss? Stay tuned.